AP provides a really reliable source of acceleration that I find is really beneficial to our students and to the university as a whole. At Florida State, we have uh, really engaged in a concerted effort to improve student retention and student academic engagement because the two go hand in hand. And over the past 10 years, we are really excited to see that we have increased our retention rate, our first year retention, from about 84% in the late 90s of 2000 up to 92, 93% today. What I really like about the AP part of this is that what we're looking at in, in this case is a student who, first of all, has been really academically engaged in high school. They've, had, they've shown that they have an interest in being challenged, uh, and then they take a nationally standardized examination, which shows us the, the performance of that student. For the AP program, for example, we did a uh, study that controlled for the SAT and we found that our AP students had a higher GPA than students that came in without AP credit. The AP students actually have higher GPAs than students that don't have uh, AP coursework, an average of .32. So our students that take AP courses do very well at the university. However, we use the AP as an indicator of what that interest may be. And so someone that's taken AP Calculus, AP Chemistry, certainly they have the ability to handle engineering, to handle pre-med, and so we can identify them that way and provide them information about those particular programs. Well, I took Honors Chemistry in high school, and then I really fell in love with it. So I stayed after class one time, and I asked the teacher, How, what can I do with this? And she said, well, do you like math? And I said, well, yeah. And she's like, well, you can look into chemical engineering. So I did, and I, I enjoyed the idea. <laughs> and so I took AP Chemistry, and I really fell in love with it. Most of our students are coming in with enough credit that they can actually fit more things into a traditional four-year plan. And so many of them will opt to double major. If they can't decide between chemistry and music, maybe they do both because they have the time to do that. Taking these AP classes, I could have um, more college credit to do more stuff outside of the classroom, like doing opera and whatnot. So it was great to get more options in college from doing AP. AP definitely prepared me for college in the sense that I learned time management skills, I learned better study habits, and I learned how to work under pressure and handle a heavy course load before I got to college. Taking AP courses, I got a lot of college credit out the way. I know as a freshman I entered FSU with like 27 hours to my name, so it helped save me a lot of money and a lot of time. A lot of my scholarships only last for four years, so graduating for four years instead of five is definitely a great thing for me because I don't have to pay out of pocket after for the fifth year. I really wanted a challenge and AP was definitely a good way to get that challenge. I also felt that um, getting college credit was also another great motivation. When you take AP classes, you don't have to pay for the book and you don't have to pay for the class. When I buy a book, it's usually anywhere between $100 and $200 and classes range depending on how many credit hours it is from three to 400 probably. So saving the $600 to take a class in high school is definitely a plus and I would definitely recommend it.